Hello lads and lasses and welcome back to the channel today. We are doing a loan watch. Uh, transfer windows over. We were done for business. We brought in 17 year old striker and midfielder from Shrewsbury. Uh, and that's all we did. We didn't expect to do anything. I didn't expect to see a signing at all. But we signed another one for the future. Uh, another academy player. Fantastic. What we're going to be doing today though is looking at... The, all the players we sent out on loan, and uh, we're going to be looking at their how how they've done so far. I'm going to do this at the start of every month. I was meant to do it yesterday, of course, but I didn't. Um, don't even remember why, but that doesn't matter now, does it? I'm doing it today. It'll be out at the start of the month at some point. Obviously, we've got the Brighton game later today as well, so I just I need something to do until then. Um, lovely. So to start with, we have Ryan Fraser, who was one of the first to leave out on loan. He has played one championship game. And and not even the full game. He played 34 minutes against QPR in their 2-1 win. Uh, and then wasn't picked for... Oh no, the Sunderland game is today. So he's played the one game he could have played on match day four. So he missed the first three. Um, so he could end up playing the day. That'll have to be saved for next month. It got on him. He got a yellow card though. So, I mean, a yellow card in, in 34 minutes of football is quite interesting. Uh, Jamal Lewis hasn't kicked a ball at all. He's not He's not found the field. My guess is he's still injured. Um. Otherwise, I don't understand why he hasn't kicked a ball. I think he's a decent little player. Hopefully you get some game time soon. I mean, what if I have the option to buy? So, for at least them, I hope he's able to do something for them. Sorry, I've got a bit of a cold going. Right, Yankuba Minte, on loan at Feyenoord. Uh, could have a very good season this season. He's played four games, three in the Eredivisie and one in the Johan Cruyff Schaal. A Dutch Cup, I'm guessing. Uh, he hasn't scored, nor assisted, nor got any cards. But he also hasn't played a lot of football. Uh, he's played, at least in the league, he's only played as a right winger. In the Cup, he played more of a striker role. So, versatile in that sense. He's played 7 minutes against Fortuna Sittard in a 0-0 draw. 25 minutes in a 2-2 draw against Sparta Rotterdam. And then 62 minutes in a 6-1 win against Almere City. So, getting that game time, uh, which is is what we want. Um, hopefully, uh, Garan Kual is getting his game time. We'll check that in a minute. Uh, and then he played 28 minutes in a 1-0 loss against PSV Eindhoven. So, obviously not expecting them to win that game. But he has, he has made... The appearances in what all the games he could have at the moment. He's played in all three match days, uh, and then in in the uh, oh, it was the final of the of the Johan Cruyff Schal. Wow, I don't why. I don't know. Interesting. Anyways, don't understand why that's the final, but it is. That is Jan Kuba Minte. Hopefully, he gets some assists under his belt seeing as he's predominantly played as a winger on that right hand side as well so if we really need to we could always recall him unless we put a clause in saying we can't recall him but that might be an option come January time uh, if we really need it Harrison Ashby now he's had quite a decent start to the season um, he's made six appearances got a goal and an assist now Transfer markets got him down playing as a right midfielder. I think I want to say he's been playing more as a right wing back, but I, there's a possibility he has been playing as a right midfielder. If someone could let us know, that would be great. I don't really watch the championship, but yes, he's got a goal and an assist so far um, in in his time, and he has been starting. Uh, he started in every game but one, I think. Um, so we'll start from the top. We'll start in the championship. He played 69 minutes against Birmingham in a 1-1 draw. 61 minutes against West Brom in a 3-2 loss. 
He played 82 minutes, got an assist in a 1-1 draw against Coventry. And then against Preston, played 80 minutes and got a goal. And it was a good goal as well. It was a very good goal. I've seen it. Very nice. I'll stick it in the video somewhere if um, I find it. They play Bristol City today, so keep an eye out for that. Uh, and then in the cup, he played 61 and 21 minutes against Northampton and Bournemouth. Obviously, Swansea got knocked out of the AFL Cup in the second round against Bournemouth, losing 3-2 below and 3-1 against Northampton. Where he again played right mid. So, an interesting one indeed. I didn't see him playing right mid, but again, there's always the chance he is playing right wing back. A very decent season from him. Hopefully, he can keep that up. Um, uh, and come back next season ready. Ready for uh, here and Trippier to, to retire soon. Because it'll happen. He's getting old. It's bound to happen. I don't want it to happen. But the body can't can't do a lot. It is what it is. Oh, right. Finally, we'll finish off with Garan Kual. He was played a one single game for Volendam. Fantastic start. He's played 24 minutes as a striker against Vitesse in a 2-1 loss and then wasn't in the squad for their game against Go Ahead Eagles so that's good he's not it's, it's an interesting one you've got to wonder what is happening so that he's not playing these games he played 9 games against uh, not against 9 games for Hearts last season Um seven in the league uh, two in the cup he got a go one goal in the cup and that was it um, which isn't great and he, he, he didn't start games either so I mean I'm hoping hoping soon I mean Volendam have only played two games this season I think all the, the Dutch clubs have no Feyenoord played three in the league this season. Either way, hopefully get some starts soon. Otherwise, it'll be another wasted loan. And we've got a question whether it's because QR's doing something wrong or is it just the places we're sending them out on loan to aren't good fits for them. Don't know. But that is all of the uh, out loans. Apart from uh, Jeff Hendrick because he only went on loan yesterday. And I also don't really care for what Jeff Hendrick has to um, offer on loan because it is contract expires next next summer anyways. So we're not signing them to a new deal. I think it's the same with Kel Watts. So I'm only going to focus on the players that I, I wouldn't mind seeing back or could come back. I guess Ryan Fraser isn't part of that. Um, but we'll focus. We'll 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 bring Jeff Hendrick into the fold next next month. Same with Kel Watts. Well, I think he's actually spent some time with Wigan now. He's had a little bit of time. Should we have a look at Kel Watts? See what he's been up to. He's he's played n not no advert. Uh, five games for Wigan. He played in a two-one win against Derby for seventeen minutes. Eight minutes against Northampton. And then he got a full 90 against Bolton and Barnsley, where they won 4-0 uh, and 2-0, respectively. And then he played 90 minutes against Wrexham, where they lost 4-2 on pens. He, he is a centre-back, but he's not a very good one, hence why he's playing for Wigan. So yeah, he's getting some game time, and, and they played Blackpool today. So, lovely. He was on the bench for Carlisle. Yeah. Oh, dearie me. So yes, that is that is the Lone Watch. We'll be keeping an eye on that. The next one will be in October. Start of October. I don't know why I struggled with months there. That's, that's mental. That's crazy. Anyways, yeah. So tomorrow will probably be my reaction to the, the Brighton game. I'm going to watch as much as I can. Because uh, I'm apparently busy today. Which is great. I'm on a baby shower. And then I'm at the cinema. So, gonna cry. I'll get the, the BS review as usual if I can. 
lovely stuff so i'll probably see it tomorrow unless something happens between now and before i leave great in a bit pal